What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to cover everything that you need to know about Helium 10, which plan to get. I'm even going to show you how you could use Helium 10 for free, and I'm going to cover everything involved with Helium 10 Black Box. So if you are new to selling on Amazon and you are looking for a product or you don't know how to find a good product to sell on Amazon, this video is for you because I'm going to go in depth in how to find good products, what filters I like to use, so you are not finding the same exact products as all the other new Amazon on sellers. So we're going to get into my computer, but before we do, if you could just smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to learn how to sell products on Amazon. All right, let's get into my computer right now and show you everything you need to know about Helium 10 and their tool called Black Box. Let's go. All right, guys. So like I said, you can use Helium 10 for free. The link is in the description down below and it's going to bring you to this page but you can see the data is limited. So you only get to use these tools a certain amount of days or times, and then it's gonna say you need to upgrade your plan. So if you are a new Amazon seller, I highly recommend you start with this plan, which is their most popular plan. It is the platinum plan. You get unlimited use of black box, which is the product research tool, X-ray, which is another great tool, the Chrome extension. Um, and I'm gonna get into black box and really get into detail of how to use that software. Again, I use Helium 10 because it is the most accurate software out there. I've compared it to my actual sales and daily units sold, and Helium 10 was the most accurate, which is why I switched to Helium 10. All right, guys, so highly recommend this plan. You can get the Diamond plan, which gives you more options. So if we look down here, I'm not gonna cover everything. You can read it for yourself. It tells you what's included, but basically um, it gives you different tools, like it gives you their ads optimization tool. So we could go right down here and it tells you what is included with the Diamond plan. Plan. You get a lot of other tools, but if you are a new Amazon seller, again, you don't need a lot of these tools. Maybe when you get more advanced, highly recommend use the platinum plan with the discount code. It gives you half off the first month or 10% off every month. Again, the link is down below. All right, so let's get into Helium 10 black box because once you start selling on Amazon, you're going to get black box and you don't know where to start. So I had a student ask if I could do a complete overview of black box. And I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna log in. And if this is your first time inside of Helium 10, I know there's a lot of different information up here. Um, I've gone over this tool in other videos on my YouTube channel. Check out my product research playlist. But to get to Black Box, all you do is go right here and we're gonna go to Black Box. Now I'm gonna cover this tool in depth because this is gonna be the most powerful tool to help you find good products to sell. If you don't use all the filters, you might be limited to data that is gonna pop up on Black Box. So we're gonna cover pretty much everything that I use. I'm not gonna cover every tab. Um, if you wanna learn about all these different tabs, they always have the learn feature directly from Helium 10. But I'm gonna show you what I use and what I've taught my students to help find good products. So first off, your basic default tab is gonna be the products tab right here. And this is basically gonna filter through the millions of products on Amazon based on whatever search criteria you enter right here. So a lot of new Amazon sellers will come right here and you could basically pick your categories. Again, I like to look for home decor products, home and kitchen. Um, I like kitchen and dining. I like patio, lawn and garden. I like, um, that should be good for now. Whatever categories you are thinking about selling in or you find interesting, this is where you're gonna pick your different categories. Pretty straightforward. Now we're gonna go over to monthly revenue. This is how much that product is gonna be making per month. I always like to say around six to $10,000 because these are gonna be the top sellers most likely. So I will put in, let's just say $6,000 for now. So even though you're putting in $6,000 and say your profit margin is around 25, 30%, you're gonna be making around $2,000 per month profit if you have a good product and it's selling and you're not spending too much on ads. So remember, monthly sales is not profit. So whatever you put here, that is sales. And then max, I don't really care if there's a max because the more you make, the better. So I'm not gonna put anything right here. Price point, I like to start around that 12 to $15 range because Amazon's fees. If you sell something that's $4, most likely Amazon's fees are gonna be almost that much. So to leave room for profit margin, I like to start around that $15 range. And then if I don't have a ton of money, I will cap it around $60. Now you don't have to put a cap right here, but basically the more expensive the product is, most likely means the more money you're gonna need to source that product from your manufacturer. So I'm gonna cap it at 60, and then we're gonna move over to this section right here, review count. Review count is very important. So I like to find products that are not too competitive, where there's not a lot of sellers with very high reviews. 
So I'll leave that around like 300. Again, it doesn't have to be exactly 300. You could put 350, 250, um, 400. But basically, I like to have it low, under 500 reviews for the average reviews. And then review rating, this is a filter that I don't use too much, but you can use it. So what does it mean? It basically means that it's gonna find products if you put a max review rating of three, it's gonna pull up all the products that only have a three star rating. So that means you could improve the product, maybe there's issues with the product. So this is a filter that could help you find bad products, getting bad reviews that you could improve upon. Um, but I tend not to use this filter too much, but now you know what it does. So we'll just leave it at three to see what pops up. And then right here, shipping tier size, this is basically how big is the product. I like to sell smaller products because the Amazon fees are a lot less. So. I like to either do small oversize or small standard size, um, but I'm not even gonna pick any of these, but now you know you could pick it by the size, uh, but it does limit different products from popping up. So I'm gonna leave it blank for now, but I have used it and picked small products to help me find smaller products. We are gonna hit search, and that is the basic info you need to look for products. Now you can see down here, over 200 products were found and it says, please add additional filters, which is where we're gonna get into the advanced filters tab. Um, but we could see down here, it's gonna bring up products where the review ratings are under three. So like this one only has three stars. Maybe you can improve it. It's a egg tray with a snap on lid. Maybe it doesn't snap on or it's a cheap plastic product. So now we're finding products with three stars or less because we have this filter turned on at the top. Um, but I'm gonna get rid of that filter because it is limiting products from popping up. And we are gonna go down to the advanced filters tab to really narrow down the products that are gonna pop up down below. Um, so I never use this one. This is basically sales year over year. You could put like 10% year over year, 20%, however much money they're making each year. That's basically a percentage. If you don't know what I'm talking about, click on this little question mark. Um, price change, again, I don't really use this filter. I'm only gonna cover filters that I like to use. Sales change, I don't really use this. Sales period, I don't use this because I wanna sell throughout the whole year, not just like a certain period. Um, sales to reviews, I don't use this one. Monthly sales, you could do this, like if you only wanna buy like 100 units, you could put a max of like 20, that means they're only selling 20 units per month. So this is a interesting filter. If you wanna find products that are selling over 100 units a month, you'd put 100 right here and pretty straightforward. I never really use this filter though, but you can use it, especially if you are looking to sell like a minimum amount of units per month, or if you're looking for a product that sells a lot of units per month, um, which is good because that means usually more units, more sales, so you can put a monthly amount of 200 right here if you want, um, but I'm not gonna use that. BSR, this is pretty cool. I've used this filter before. BSR means best seller rank. The lower the BSR, the better. It means higher sales velocity, more sales are coming in. So you could do like a max BSR of 50,000. And that means it's gonna find the products that are getting a sale for every 50,000 sales in that category. Um, so basically it's gonna bring up all the products that are getting good amount of sales. And that's because we have a BSR of 50,000 or below. Remember, closer to zero, the better. So you could put 10,000 in here, 20,000. But when you get in the BSRs of like 100,000, 200,000, that means, typically it means low sales because it's low sales velocity. Less sales coming in means less revenue you're gonna make. Um, so this is a good little filter right here. So we could find products in demand getting a lot of sales quickly. And then we could also see number of sellers. So I only wanna find products where there's only one seller on the listing. Sometimes there is two sellers. It could be that one seller and then Amazon reselling it as used. So maybe I'll put two right here. Um, but yeah, this is number of sellers on that one listing. Again, you wanna find private label sellers who own the listing, own their own brand. So I'm gonna put two right here. Um, you could also put one, but again, Amazon does resell as used under a lot of different listings. Um, and then down here, we wanna find products. It really doesn't matter. You can look for products doing FBA or FBM. FBM means fulfilled by merchant, meaning they are shipping the products. FBA, obviously fulfillment by Amazon. Amazon is shipping the products. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna leave that blank. I never really use this. Here's another filter that you could use number of images to help find bad listings that you could improve upon. And you might be able to get sales over that person because they have like one or two photos. So you could go right here and put two and that means it's gonna bring up all listings that only have two photos and they are probably listings that are not optimized and maybe they don't know what they're doing and they're still getting good sales because we have these filters up here. 
but they only have two images and you might be able to make your listing a lot better. Um, and then variation count, this is basically if they have like more than one color, they'll have a variation or different sizes. Um, I don't wanna have any variations. I wanna sell a product with only one variation, which means one product. I don't wanna sell a bunch of different colors when I'm starting out. You can, but that is not what I wanna do. And then max weight, this is pretty cool because you don't wanna sell very heavy items. It might be a lot in shipping and FBA fees. So I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna put, let's say max weight of four pounds. Um, and then down here, title keyword search, you could put a keyword in here. So if you wanna sell like home decor, you could put in decor, um, whatever keyword you wanna find in the, in the title, that is where you would put that right here. Um, and then if you want to ignore certain keywords, like say you don't want to sell a table, you could type in table. If you don't want to sell a curtain, you could type in curtain. If you don't want to sell a bed, you could type in bed. You get the point, pillow. Um, and then brand, brand search, I never use this. Exclude brands, I never use this. Seller search, exclude seller, I don't use those. So those are a couple different filters that I like to use in the advanced filters tab under the products tab to help find good products. Now we're gonna hit search again. I'm not gonna try to find a product, but I'm gonna see what pops up. So now you can see we went from 200 plus products down to 104 and we are actually narrowing down our search to target products that match all of the search criteria that we had at the top. Again, I'm not gonna go through all these different products, but you get the point. It narrowed it down for us, and now we could scroll through these six different pages of products. Again, if you are using the free version, it's not gonna show you all this data. Highly recommend the Platinum Plan. All right, so that is the Products tab. Now you know what all of these different filters do. The only other tab that I really like to use, which is my favorite tab actually, is the Keywords tab. So I'm gonna open up this, and this is basically gonna find products based on keyword data. If you've seen some of my other product research tutorials, I like to use this tab the most. So I'm gonna cover what all of these different filters are. There's a couple powerful ones down here that I like to use and have helped me find good products. So first off, we are gonna start up here. Search volume. How many people are searching for this keyword? I wanna find a product that's getting good demand, good searches. So I like to start around 10,000 monthly searches. Monthly revenue, again, we went over that last time in the products tab, but I like to start, let's say around $10,000 per month. Price point, let's start around 15 to about 59. Review count, we will keep it under 300. Review rating, again, you could use it or you don't have to. Really, it depends how many products are popping up and if you wanna narrow it down. And word count, which is a pretty good one. Most people type in a couple words on Amazon. So I'm gonna start with two minimum words in the keywords. So for example, baby blanket flower pot a lot of people type in two words rather than one so you could start off with this with the word count of two words in that keyword um, and then we're going to go down here to the advanced filters let's see what pops up first before i use the advanced filters and let's see so you could see down here 200 plus products found you could go through all these but i'm not going to do that again but we want to narrow it down even further so some of these different filters i like to use down here Again, you could pick whatever category you want. I'm not gonna do it, but you already know what to do there. Keyword search, you could put in a certain keyword like decor, home decor, um, exclude keywords, same thing as the products tab, shipping tier size, same thing as before on the products tab, um, number of sellers. A lot of this stuff is the same, but there's a couple different filters that I really like to use. So again, you got best seller rank right here, which I went over last time. Um, we have competitor revenue. This is one of the cool filters that I like to use in the keywords tab. So now we could actually look for sellers that are doing more than $10,000 a month. And we wanna find at least two of the top sellers doing over $10,000 per month. Meaning there are new sellers on Amazon launching that product or that product that brings up that keyword and they are doing great sales and they have low reviews. So that leads me to this one right here. You wanna make sure they have low reviews. So I'm gonna make sure that they have less than 50 reviews and at least two of those top sellers have less than 50 reviews. So now we are gonna find keywords that bring up products where the top sellers are doing more than $10,000 per month, at least two of them, and then they have less than 50 reviews. At least two of those sellers have less than 50 reviews. This is great because it's gonna bring up keywords where there are new sellers who are doing great revenue with low reviews. That is key. You don't wanna see everybody on page one with hundreds or thousands of reviews. So that is why I like these two different filters. Now we're gonna find hopefully products with low reviews doing great revenue that match all of our criteria at the top. So again, we are still seeing a lot of Easter eggs or Easter egg products popping up. 
So I don't want to look at those. So again, I like to use this one a lot. I always type in keywords in the exclude keyword section because that's going to give you more products popping up, getting rid of these unnecessary products that you don't want to see. Um, so I like to do that. Easter bunny. Yeah, that's probably good for now. All right. So now we're going to hit search. And you can see we went from 200 plus to 166 phrases found. It's more targeted. Um, and then we would go through all of these and look around. And then if we don't see anything or we see a lot of things that are repetitive, like keto pills, you don't want to sell keto pills on Amazon. You would go to that exclude uh, keyword section right here. Type in keto. That's going to get rid of that keyword popping up so it's not popping up over and over. And we just got rid of seven more keywords because we typed in that one keyword. Um, but yeah. That is basically the different filters and tools that I like to use inside of Helium 10 Black Box. It could be pretty overwhelming looking at all these different um, boxes, but once you know what to do and what they are, then it can help you through the product research phase a lot quicker. Um, I never really use competitors or niche, um, but you can if you don't know what they do. Always right here on Helium 10, they have this learn button. So I'm not going to cover everything in depth because you can just click on that one learn button. They also have these two different tabs, which I don't use too often. But the main tabs that I use and a lot of beginners will use is the products tab and the keywords tab, which I recently went over. Again, this is Helium 10 Black Box. It's a powerful tool if you know how to use it and use all these different filters because a lot of new sellers will just use these different boxes up here. They're gonna search and if you do the same exact thing, you're gonna see the same exact products that these people are looking at. Um, all right guys, that is it. Again, if you need the discount code down below, if you wanna start for free, the link is down below in the description. That is it for this video, hope you enjoyed. And if you need any help with your own Amazon business, make sure to check all the links down below. That is it, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.